So to start, you're going to need an archiving program, and I like to use WinRAR. It's a free program, and I'll have the link to this site where I got the download below. No viruses or anything, really simple. Uh, it just helps you unzip files that you download off like ModDB or Mediafire, stuff like that. And for the mod that we'll be using, it's going to be the Coruscant Modern Warfare mod, which I have a list of actually that I'll also link down below, along with a bunch of other mods I'll be doing videos on. And so we're going to need to download that, so we're going to go to this page, which is where the link will take you. Click download. Now I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this. And you'll find it right there with that book stack icon. Um, you're going to want to right click that. And once you have WinRAR, click archive or extract files. So here you have it with the book icon. Now you're going to want to go up, right click and extract the files. Now I like to extract them to the desktop for simplicity's sake. And as you do that, they'll appeal right there. Um, close that out and let it load up. Once they're loaded up, pull the text readme file and the three letter file out. Now you can read the text file, but it just has instructions and stuff. So set that to the side. The mod you'll be installing is the three letter file. Uh, the CMW file. Now I have my Star Wars game stuff folder which just holds all my mods um, to make them simpler to organize and install and uninstall. So once you have it in a dedicated folder like that where I also actually keep vanilla files, side note, you're going to want to open up game data, the folder for your Star Wars Battlefront game. Now, if you don't know where to find this, just go to this PC, disk C, program files. Now you're going to want to find Steam because that's where I have, I have it installed. Steam apps, common, and then Star Wars Battlefront and then game data. And there should already be an add-on folder in there. So I'll expand that to make it easier. Um, where see the add-on folder uh, nothing's in it so no mods yet but I want to take this three letter file and copy it do not drag but copy it into copy and paste it into add-on folder and just let that run for a second And as it finishes up, you'll see it's now completely installed. There's nothing really else you need to do. Files will run on their own, no other installation required. So we're just going to come out of that, exit out of both those files, and now we'll open up Star Wars Battlefront 2. So I hope this helped, and I'll show you how to just open up the files in the actual game, but be sure as you go into Instant Action to make it Clone Wars, just because that's simpler. So I'll speed this up, and yeah, here's some gameplay.